Okay, now it's the 21st of September. You know I'm pounding their faces into the ground, eh? These fucking, these humans. These fucking animals, these male and female animals, legally defined as monsters. No such thing as coincidence, everything means something. It's all a piece of the puzzle, isn't it? Unfortunately for these satanic savages, I'm a woman who understands all things. So here we've got, uh, we're going to put a call here because I tweet all the time, right? I'm on social media, I'm leaving reviews, I'm emailing these fucking savages. Satanic savages. Acting as public servants. None of these fucking pukes is fit for service, not one of them. These fucking pukes feed from the trough. All day, every day. They get their paycheck every two weeks, whether they do their job or not. They all fucking falsely believe it's a blah, 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 blah. You have any idea what these fucking pukes have done to me? And not one of these fucking satanic savages will lift a finger to undo what they've done. They fully, completely have the plan to steal my house, steal three quarters of a million dollars from me, and fucking leave me for dead. Now, let's see here. There's this thing called Shannon Salter. It's acting as the deputy attorney general. This thing is the minister responsible for housing. Gee, skank, maybe you should be concerned that widows are having their homes stolen. Exactly as it's written. Yeah, it's prophecy. Shannon. So let's call up Shannon's office here and see what kind of service we get from Shannon and her cover. Deputy Attorney General Richard Fife and Deputy Solicitor General Mark Steven. For inquiries or complaints for the Ministry of Attorney General, please send us an email at mag.correspondence at gov.bc.ca. Again, that is mag.correspondence at gov.bc.ca. And for inquiries or complaints with the Ministry of Public Safety and Solicitor General, please send us an email at pssg.correspondence at gov.bc.ca. Again, that is pssg.correspondence at gov.bc.ca. If you do not have access to email, please leave a detailed message outlining your questions or concerns with your name and contact information so we can respond in a timely manner. Thank you. After the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, hang up or press the pound key for more options. Oh, wow. Why is there a constant rotation of the sewer rats acting as these public services? Why is there a constant rotation? So you don't pick up the telephone, right? And now you've provided me with a whole bunch of email addresses, but I email you all the time and you never respond. Yeah, unfit for service, are we? Well, my name is Victoria Nevens, and I have had my life and everything that I've ever owned stolen from me. Yeah, by criminals acting as the B.C. Supreme Court. And so I'm going to be laying criminal charges. I am now the special prosecutor of every criminal who stole my son and sold him to pedophiles at eight years old. And I'm also going to be um, prosecuting every single uh, witch acting as the B.C. Attorney General. And let's see here. Oh, excuse me. I guess I should have said the B.C. Supreme Court who aided and abetted the theft of my house. The theft of my house in the District of Sandwich and embezzled three quarters of a million dollars from me, leaving me homeless and destitute. How many emails have you gotten from me? But you ignored them all. And now I'm calling you today, and I find out that who's supposed to be in charge here isn't in charge here. Now we've got different animals acting as Attorney General and acting as Deputy Attorney General. I'm being attacked 
uh, repeatedly and consistently by uh, agents acting as this, uh, what are they calling themselves? Oh, that's right, the Sandwich Police Department. Yeah, can you explain any of that behavior? I'm being attacked by CIBC agents who won't release uh, the money they stole from me. Now, why would they do that? Can you explain any of that behavior? Can you? So now I'm going to have to listen to this call again because I'm recording this call for quality assurance and training purposes because you're unfit for service. You're absolutely vile. You're not going to call me back, but I'll give you my number, 250-661-0610. I email you constantly, and there's refusal of service, which is actually the indictable crime of fraud. Do any of you read the Criminal Code of Canada in this office? What do you do all day? Uh, seriously, what do you do all day for your paycheck and your medical and your dental and your flex days? Because I have no money to live on. I've been forced into prostitution by CIBC and CIB solicitors and criminals acting as the BC Supreme Court. Right. So I tell you what I'm going to do, and no one's going to touch me when I do this. I'm going down to 850 Burdett Avenue, and I'm going to seize the hearing recordings. I'm seizing them because that's my property. Proof is my property. I'm going to be indicting a number of criminals acting as the Bracey Supreme Court, like David Mashahara, Jennifer Power. Let's see who else did we have here. Oh, Carolyn Book, uh, Robert Punnett. So many criminals acting for this criminal organization. So what do you have to say for yourselves? Because you're not going to do what's right, and you clearly refuse to serve me. Because I'm way too intelligent for you, humans. You humans, legally defined as monsters. I'm not a human, I'm a woman. And there is a difference. That's why you hate me. That's why you're attempting to murder me with continual acts of genocide that you refuse to admit to. Uh, Johnny Van Camp is being indicted on criminal charges. Johnny Van Camp is no longer acting as a attorney general. A criminal coven of liars, compulsive liars, murderers, thieves, and destroyers. What do you have to say for yourselves? Because you're not going to do... You can't do what's right. You just can't. You've proven it time and time and time and time again that you're absolutely unfit for service. Unfit for service. You can't even hold an intelligent conversation with a real woman. Instead, you attack and try to murder and steal everything I own. I've got trespassers on my stolen house. So I will be removing them myself. Because I'm not going to be served by the uh, criminals acting as the sandwich PD. You've got all these places that you go and file complaints to, but you can't investigate yourselves. You can't investigate yourselves, but that's what you do. And then you discover that oh, you've done nothing wrong. Yeah, how disgusting. Another waste of another six minutes of my life calling another BC government agency that does nothing all day, every day to actually assist victims of crime. That's right. What do you do all day? Absolutely nothing, that's what you do. Well, I'm so glad I wasted my time calling this uh, joke public service. Minister of Housing, Minister of Housing, yet you're stealing homes to facilitate money laundering in the province, and you're behind it all, so that you can't pretend like you're against money laundering. You're all benefiting from the money laundering here. Isn't that right? I send emails constantly. You refuse to engage intelligently. Why would that be? So I just fucking wasted. So get this. Did you hear the fucking names that they spewed out there on that phone call? So I'm looking at this website here. Deputy Attorney General's Office. Shannon Salter. Deputy Attorney General. Deputy Minister Responsible for Housing. So there's a constant fucking sewer rat rotation going on here. They just fucking rotate the fucking sewer rats out. Yeah. They just fucking rotate them out, right? Because they're all fucking absolutely useless. What the fuck do they do all day for their six fucking figure paychecks? They don't fucking serve victims of crime. They refuse to fucking listen. They will not follow the legal rules of fucking society. You ever been to a fucking whorehouse here that they're trying to pass off as a courthouse? What a fucking joke. These fucking pukes have never had a case on me once, yet they, they abducted my son at five years old, sold him to pedophiles at eight. Because who else would buy an eight-year-old child? 
they're selling them here for about $50,000. Would you like one? Are you a pedophile here? You have every right to fuck your children here in Canada. Go read Section 170 of the Criminal Code of Canada. Go read it and keep reading it until you understand what the fuck it says. If you're a guardian or a parent, you can do whatever the fuck you want sexually to your child here in Canada. And that's why they abduct them, and that's why they sell them to Canada's protected coven of pedophiles. Because the truth is, this fucking province is run by pedophiles. Who do you think is fucking sitting on the Masonic, uh, Kabbalistic, uh, demonic bench of bullshit in the fucking whorehouse they're trying to pass off as the courthouse? Who do you think fucking sits there? And that's why I'm going to seize the hearing recordings, right? You know why they won't let you record in there? Because they change those recordings constantly. They will erase them. They will speak over top what they did to you. You've got a level of fucking corruption going on here that's now right the fuck out of control because nobody's doing anything about it. They're all sucking each other's fucking cocks. They're all twiddling each other's fucking twats. And what about these fucking pukes, Fulton and Company and Kamloops, BC? You think the fucking pukes acting as the RCMP are going to fucking go there and fucking arrest that fucking coven of corruption? That's stealing widows' homes and then embezzling the entire state? Three quarters of a million dollars was stolen from me. And there's, I've been told repeatedly they're never going to release it to me. Unless I suck some cock and twirl some fucking twat. They're trying to fucking extort $10,000 from me. So I can get that fucking three quarters of a million dollars. I've been fucking homeless and destitute since March. 19th, 2020. These fucking pukes have run another fucking act of genocide on me. Hoping, hoping that I'd fucking kill myself. Well, pigs, pukes, and fucking dogs, I don't fucking think so. I have had about uh, fucking two dozen fucking satanic sewer rats acting as the sandwich fucking PD coming to fucking attack me here at the door because I went and I reported that my house was stolen. So those fucking pukes have now allowed for the last fucking ten months these fucking witches to occupy illegally as trespassers on my stolen property in the district of Saanich. Anybody going to do anything about it? Anybody give a flying fuck? No, of course not.